Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this episode, we'll be talking about how you can use unfamiliar functions. We can understand this by considering an example. In this worksheet, which we're looking forward, there's three values available with us. Interest rate as 3.50%, term 48, amount borrowed 25,000. So you have borrowed an, with an interest rate of 3.50, for the 48 months, you have borrowed an amount of 25,000. And now you're looking forward how much monthly payment you need to do for the same. Excel provides various formulas for the same, but we do not, it's quite hard to identify which formula is being used for it. Let's look over it. I would like to try to navigate to different functions which Excel is providing up. But visiting to every formula which Excel provides and just reading over its description, going to its help is quite a tedious job. So for it, what I will be doing is, or the simplest way of doing is, go to insert function. A dialog box will appear which will have list of all the functions which Excel provides with an option of search. In the search you can write for which purpose you are looking forward. The purpose which I am looking forward is loan amount. On clicking over OK, I would be getting the functions which are related to the loan amount. The list of functions may not be small enough but yeah. The, the functions is not large enough also. In the function list, the first function which we are going, which we are seeing is PMT, which is exactly the formula which we are looking forward. Calculate the rate of, calculate the payment for the loan based on the constant payment and the constant interest rate. So let's select the PMT. Here is the PMT box. Now uh, let's pass on the values which, we, which need to be done. For the interest rate, we have all our interest rate available with us. So instead of typing, I've just selected the box B2, cell B2. Along with that, uh, on looking over here, we can identify that we need to divide the interest rate with the months. For quarterly, they have used 4. For annually, I will be using 12. For first duration, how much term? 48. PV is the present value or the standard amount which you have taken for a loan. P3. Here's the value being calculated. The value is shown in red because it is a negative value as the amount is being given from our pocket as minus 558. If you are looking forward to use this value anywhere among the sheet, then let's convert it to the positive values. For converting it into the positive, add minus sign in front of PMT or before B4. The cell is Let's just drag it to the another cell to calculate how much monthly values they need to pay for the same. The another thing which I need to calculate over here is the total amount of payment which I need, which I will be doing in the tenure of 48 months. For this, I will be taking the monthly payment I'm doing into the tenure amount, which is B3 cell. So $26,827 is the amount which I will be doing. So with the use of insert function, you can easily identify or you easily shortlist the cell functions which are available in the Excel for the purpose you are looking forward. Hope you really like this video. If you really like it, press the like button, share your opinions and views in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.